In this training video, we're looking at circular reference issues. This is when we get things like, I'm trying to put a calculation in here, equals total profit minus the expenses. Comes up and says, careful, we found one or more circular references in the workbook. We can't do that because total profit is already a calculation. When I OK, it gives me the trace line is just to show me this an issue here between them. So really in this case, we should have just put a value in here, then it will happily work out total profit because that's B2 minus C2. So I think you just need to watch out for these types of calculations. Now looking at sheet three, something more complex here, we have a status level. I want to choose one of these and trigger a date and time to appear into column A. Let's just zap that for now. So we need to do some checking as well for blanks in the cells, because I don't want a date to appear even when there's no status in here. So let's test this out. If we go for an if function, equals if, open brackets, that cell, status cell. A pair of these brackets back to back is not equal to empty, pair of quotes. Then comma, and we looking at the true option, we launch into a second if, a2, is also blank. And then what to do, we launch the now function just to get the date and time. Otherwise we just put A2 in there. If it's false, we just leave it empty, close brackets. So that's good because it's stayed empty because there is no status. If we hit the drop down here and change this, ah, we get the dreaded circular reference again. Excel can't cope with the fact it's trying to do calculations, including itself in the calculation as we saw earlier. Let's delete that for now. However, we can get round this. If we go to File Options, in the Formulas section, you may not have seen this Enable Iterative Calculations option here before. So it will attempt to do X amount of iterative self-calculations, if you like. Let's OK this. Choose a status. And it happily returns the date. Let's copy this down a little bit. And that seems to be working fine. So that formula was if the status cell is not equal to being empty, then go and do the if function, providing a2 is blank here, do the now function to get the date and time, otherwise just stick A2 in there, otherwise make it empty, the pair of quotes. Sometimes when you edit that and press return it doesn't refresh properly here. If I just delete the status and reapply it, then it works fine.